right. Take a moment, see yourself sitting here. Close your eyes, make yourself comfortable. Take a deep breath in and out, in and out. We're going to reach down and grow roots from our feet and grow them through the floor and through the basement. Grow them deep beneath the houses where we are, down into soil, around the rocks, and keep on going down through the earth, nice warm earth, until we find bedrock far, far below our houses. As we reach the bedrock, we're searching around and looking until we finally find the cool pool of water, the waters of chaos far beneath the earth. And with our roots, we're going to start sucking that water up. And with each breath, that water comes further and further up into our feet and into our legs, up into our loins and into our belly. With each breath, it gets higher and higher into our chest, into our head, until it, with the next breath, it comes up through the head and out back into the earth to our arms and our hands and back into the earth. This fountain of water, the fountain of waters of chaos from far below coursing through our bodies. Feel the energy of this water, the energy of potential with it. Take into yourself all the energy that you need. Then turn our focus up and look and grow branches up through our houses, up through the roofs, up into the sky until we can find that one star directly above our head and reach up with our branches until you can grab all that light from that star, all the fire from above and bring that down, down into our branches and into our hands. With each breath, bring that down further into our head and into our chest. See it mingle with the waters we've brought from below. And next breath, bring it down into our belly and into our loins, mingling with the water all the same. Bring it down further until it reaches the bottom of our feet. And with each breath, you're going to pull in the lights from above and the waters from below, fire and water, chaos and order, mixing throughout our bodies, glowing with all this energy all this potential from, from order and chaos. Enjoy this energy. Take out of it everything that you need. But for now, send back the light up to the heavens, the waters down to the earth. But know that you can always reach back and grab these energies if you ever need it. But disconnect for now. Take a deep breath in and out, in and out. And when you're ready, rejoin us ready for magic. First, we make offerings to the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you who surround us and support us. You who bring us such interesting, I think is the right word today, weather throughout the, throughout the world. And here in the Northeast where we're not expected to get above freezing tomorrow. For all that you do for us, for all you provide for us, the food, the weather, the water, the heat from the sun, for everything that you do, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Earth Mother, accept our offering. Now we hallow our house. Mighty well, you who reached deep into the earth, found throughout the world of the ancestors, we give you this silver as sacred waters flow within us. 
Sacred waters flow within us. The mighty fire, you that burns and transforms and sends all of our offerings up into the heavens to the world of the gods. We make this offering to you and say, sacred fire, burn within us. Sacred fire, burn within us. The mighty tree whose roots go deep into the earth and can be found in the wells and lands of the ancestors and whose branches rise high into the sky, into the heavens, can be found in the worlds of the shining ones. Be our path between all the worlds. Sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow within us. In my grove and our, all of our groves are the might of the water, the light of the fire. Our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. Call to the gatekeepers. You who have worked with us throughout the years, have opened the ways for us and guided us as we walk your holy ways. We call to you once more to join us and aid us. Watch over us as we do our work. Guard us and protect us from whatever we may need help with. Take our messages far and wide and bring back to us all that we need to hear. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Gatekeepers, accept our offerings. And now, gatekeepers, in my grove and in all of our groves, join your magic with mine. Let the well open as a gate to the underworld. The fire open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let the tree be the crossroads, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Let the gates be opened. Shining ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, you who look over each and every one of us, our patrons and matrons, we offer you welcome. Gods and goddesses of this very land, you who are where we live, we offer you welcome. And gods and goddesses of elder days, be you known to us or unknown to us, to all of you, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fire. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Accept our offerings. And land spirits, you have fur and feather, scale and skin, all the animal kin, we offer you welcome. You have leaf and twig, flower and stem, all the plant kin, we offer you welcome. And all of the unseen beings, the fae, the elves, dwarfs, all the various forms that you take, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fire. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Land spirits, accept our offering. And the ancestors, you who we call family, to each and every one of you, we offer you welcome. To those of you that we look up to, our heroes and mentors, and all of our chosen family, we offer you welcome. To each and every one of you that is buried in this very earth where each of us lives, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fire. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offering. At this point, if there are offerings to be made, please feel free to make your offerings. So I have to 
been saying, and I will say again, may calmer heads prevail. further offerings to be made. Mighty kindred, we give to you, and we ask, mighty kindred, kindred all, accept our offerings, accept our kindred sacrifices. Accept our sacrifices. <laughs> and now we ask mighty kindred, what blessings do we receive from the Shining Ones? Shining Ones give us lagus, waters, and emotions. And the land spirits the land spirits give us hoggle, hail, and change. And the ancestors the ancestors give us one gel joy and happiness I think this is a direct message to us saying change our attitude and be happy choose to be happy Interesting to see that coming from the kindred in that fashion, but. Yeah, they're, they're telling us to make changes, to make ourselves happy. I think this is good advice and a good omen. Do we accept this omen? We do. Then mighty kindred, I for one will take your advice and work on changing my attitude to bring about more happiness for myself. But for now, we ask that our waters, not just mine, but in all of our houses, fill them with lagus, fill them with hoggle, fill them with wangjo. Allow these waters to bring about the changes that we need for our happiness. Behold the waters of life. Behold, on wish Veha. And now we thank all of those who have aided us. Mighty ancestors, you have come before us. Be you family, be you chosen, or be you of this very place. My ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. And land spirits, be you our animal kin, our plant kin, or our unseen kin, for all that you do. Land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. And shining ones, be you deities we have personal relationships with, be you of this very place where we are, or be you watching over us, unknowns to us. For all that you do, Shining Ones, we thank you. Shining Ones, we thank you. And mighty gatekeepers, you've opened the ways, you've brought back this uh, lovely omen to us. You've watched over us as we've done our work for all that you have done for us. Gatekeepers, we thank you. Gatekeepers, we thank you. Yeah, so you once more join your magic with mine in my house and in all of our houses. Let the well become a water once more. Let the fire become a flame once more. 
Let the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. And Earth Mother, we honor you first and we thank you last. Without you, we would not be here. You provide for us so well throughout the year. So all that you do for us every day, Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended.